day for choosing a hero. I am brave and wise and wonderful, with a voice like thunder. Keys? Tea? Yes, please. Toast? Yes, please. Keys? Tea? Yes, please. Toast? Yes, please. I want to be the hero in the play. You can't be the hero in the play. You are not strong or brave. The boing. Oh, Polly will do it all day. It's not my fault. Give me back my ball, you silly little splinters. Give me back my ball, you useless splinter. You've made it all sticky, right, Sparky? Yes, sir. Clean it. Why should I? It was my ball first. When I put you down, I want you to pick every bit of stickiness off my football. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go, Sparky. Yes, sir. It's time for the auditions. Who wants to be the hero? Ruskin first. I am brave and wise and wonderful and handsome and tall and covered in muscles with a voice like thunder. Sit down, Ruskin. I'm sorry, you can't be the hero. Come up, Elvis. I am brave and wise and I have a voice like thunder. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. I'm going to be the hero. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. Yay! Okay, Elvis will be the hero. I'll be brilliant, like Shakespeare. Oh, the wondrous bard! Shakespeare, the magnificent master of all imaginations. Shakespeare, the wizard of all beauty. Shakespeare, Shakespeare, Shakespeare! <laughs> What's going on in here? Elvis, are you Shakespeare or Mr. Lace again? No, it was nothing. Elvis, thank you. Go back to your seat. The boing. Do you know what made the cracks in the in Lizard Street? Tell me. Well, all sparkling and new. Another broken window? Yes. <coughs> He's out playing with Sparky. Help me, baby. Elvis. The brakes were made dark by. Elvis, your mom is calling you. Do you want something from the shop, Corky? Yes, a packet of chocolate biscuits, please. Do you know what made the bumps? No, tell me. The bumps were made by... I got the new film. It looks interesting. Who wrote it? Shakespeare. So what did make the cracks and bumps quirky? Crindle cracks. What? Crindle cracks. To tell the story properly, I have to go back 11 years. 11 years? That's when I was born. That's right. 11 years ago, lots of things happened. What things? The pavements weren't cracked and the brakes weren't dark. Because... Because crindle cracks wasn't... Wasn't around then? That's right. So where did you work? The sewers. The sewers? Yes, my dear boy, the sewers. Underground where all the dirty water is, in the smelly dark. At least that's how most people see it. But I thought it, it was beautiful. If it was dark, how could you see? I had a helmet with a light on it. Finish your story. Tell me about Crindle Crocs. One day... I was underground when I heard a noise, a noise I had never heard before. I looked around everywhere. My torch beam cut through the darkness and I saw it. It was eating a slice of toast. What was it? A baby crocodile. I wanted to touch it, but it snapped at me and chased me back out of the sewers. It grabbed my leg. That is why I have a limp. I never went into the sewers again, but I know it comes out at night looking f to finish me off. That's... That is where the cracks and bumps from the giant croco crocodile crindle cracks. Ruskin goes home and finds out Wendy's throwing all the leftover toast down the drain. Crindle cracks has been growing bigger and bigger and stronger, eating toast for 11 years. The boing. 
Elvis, begin your speech. Oh, you terrible monster. You scary thing of, of, of darkness. No, no, darkness, no, no, no more. Well, I suppose you will be good when you know your lines. I'm going to be the best actor in the world. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. The whole class sings that too, don't they? Yay! Ruskin didn't answer. I'm sure he meant to say yes. No, I meant to say nothing. He doesn't know how to hold the shield and the sword properly. He doesn't know his lines. He's a terrible actor. I'll get you, you silly little splinter. The boing, the boing, the boing. I'll break your windows and break your glasses and... Elvis, calm down. Shakespeare. Oh, the bard, the DNA of all drama. Shakespeare. Oh, the joy of thought. Shakespeare. 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 I'm going to get my ball. This is a great movie, Corky. Yes. Can you hear something? This movie is boring. Please be quiet. They're not even speaking English. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. This is a film by Shakespeare. It's boring. Is this what you call good acting? I'm a better actor than them. The boing. My forest green. Now I won't be able to show any more films. When Ruskin returns home, he finds his dad drunk, and in his sleep, he tells Ruskin the story of how he got fired from the zoo. He stole a baby crocodile from the zoo for Mr. and Mrs. Cave so they can make a new pup sign. They let it escape, and that crocodile is the one that became Crindle Crocs. Ruskin feels terrible that his dad is responsible for Corky's limp. Hello, my dear boy. Hi. What happened this morning? I am, I am sorry, but we can't be friends anymore. Why? I can't tell you. Not avoiding me, are you? No. What? Stop! What is this? Stop, it's mine. Correction, it's mine. Right, Sparky? Yes, sir. That? It's my helmet. What are you doing with that? Are you going into the darkness? No, it's for you. But I don't deserve it. I lost the medal. All I have left is the pin. That doesn't matter, my dear boy. A pin is a useful thing to have. Nothing matter, only that we remain friends. You understand me? So you still want me for a friend? I always want you as a friend. The next day, when Ruskin gets up to say hello to Lizard Street, he sees an ambulance in front of Corky's house, and all of Lizard Street is standing around upset because Corky has died. Ruskin realizes that in the ambulance is Corky's body. He gets very angry and screams at everyone that is there. it is their fault Corky died. He goes to bed for two weeks. Tissue! Now what are you doing in bed? Tissue! I don't want to ever get up. Everybody misses you. Tissue in Lizard Street. These are for you. I can't look at chocolate biscuits without crying. But they are a present. You can't refuse my present. Corky wouldn't want that. Here's a photograph of a famous actor. Here are some coloring pencils. Here's some cherry aid. I miss your knuckly knees. We miss your crazy hair. Why don't, don't you get out of bed? Because I miss Corky! The adults tell Ruskin how Corky got his medal and it makes him feel better and he decides to get out of bed. Maybe it was all a story, story, gory, gory. Ah! The boing, the boing. Roar! Oh, you terrible monster. I'll take it out for you if you go back into the sewers, okay?
This street is full of my friends, and I don't want you threatening them. Mr. Lace is my friend because he gave me coloring pencils. Mrs. Walnut is my friend because she gave me chocolate biscuits. Dr. Flowers is my friend because he gave me a handkerchief. Mr. Flick is my friend because he gave me a photograph. Mr. and Mrs. Cave are my friends because they gave me cherry aid. And Elvis and Sparky are my friends, even if they don't want to be. The boing. Elvis has a cold. He can't be in the play. Ruskin, you will have to be the hero. Oh, you terrible monster, you scary thing of the dark. You will scare us no more. I'm not afraid. I have tamed you, and now I'm your master. A hero. I never knew he, to shoot, had it in him. He's our little star. I don't think anyone could have done it better. Do you think we can be friends again? We never stopped being friends. The boing. The boing. I wanted to be the hero. I'm going to stop this smashing once and for all. There isn't that going to be any glass left in Lizard's Street when I'm finished. You can't stop me, you silly little splinter. Be quiet, Elvis. I'm fed up with you. You're so wild. Too much wildness is boring. I'm going to tame you and make you interesting again. I had a dream last night. You saved me from something. I don't know how or why no one likes me. I never wanted to grow this tall. Why did it have to happen? I just want to stay small, like you and Sparky. I don't want these muscles. I don't want the voice like thunder. I just want to be friends. Can we be friends again? We always have been. I love you, Lizard Street. I love you. I love you. I love you. Yeah.